Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 where today we're going to be carrying on our Kingdom of Ireland playthrough and as we look at the geography of the land here you can see Ireland is getting very big as we zoom out so our banners disappear. There we go. We are definitely one of the major powers in the British Isles here and of course England and Danelaw forming in the last episode too. Uh, not sure how we will stand on that one. I think uh, the idea is to align with the Scots maybe. I don't like the idea of the English giving away so much land to the Danish there, or the Danelaw, sorry, not the Danish. <laughs> uh, two completely different things. But let's go ahead and look at what our current situation is like. So we have low control in a lot of counties. Um, we do need to deal with that. We are currently raising control here. Also, I don't think we're going to be able to take this back from the Vikings anytime soon. Um, if we get rid of this, there we go. They have so many allies. It's just actually they're also allied with the Danelaw as well and it looks like they're winning a war against uh, the Isle of Monver and um, that kind of sucks those guys of course gaining independence and even changing their religion recently but I don't think we're going to be able to capture this anytime soon so what I will do I think we're going to stay true to our roots here and actually make Desmond our capital so we're going to build up uh, Desmond it is on the coast at least so we can build things like ports um, if we go in here, there we go, it's a bit hard to click. I believe, oh, we're not feudal yet, so we can't build a port just yet. But I will go ahead and spend our gold to start building things up here. Let's go ahead and turn on the list. What else is going on? So powerful vassals expect council positions. Now, I think the high chieftain of Meath here, let's see, what's he good at? Hmm... We could make him our Chancellor, maybe, or even our Spy Master, but my grandson. I don't want to get rid of my grandson. Maybe I will make him my Chancellor, just because he has been... He did help us in the wars, and, you know, he's been my longest standing ally. So I'm actually going to go ahead and make him my Chancellor. There we go. We're going to fire at this guy, and in fact, I think I'm going to begin to sway him as well, just so he starts liking me a bit more. There we go. So we have changed our council a little bit. If we go further down, we can declare wars. But I'm sure we will maybe go through more wars this episode. And we can demand a payment from our grandson. Only five gold. So let's not go ahead and do that. But we are over our domain limit. Let's see. So he already controls uh, the duchy of Leinster here. Uh, what duchy should we give away? Um... If we go back to the duchy view, maybe Connacht, we could give this away to this vassal here. Now, I know people don't like, and uh, they don't like making their vassals powerful, but I personally prefer to have a few powerful vassals and then they can do what they want with that land. So let's go ahead and give him this land back. Um, he should like us a bit more, but also more importantly, we do go back under our domain limit here. Which should help a little bit. How old are we? We're 62 years old. Our health is poor. Uh, we are actually getting quite old. 62 is very old actually in Crusader Kings 3. At least this early on in 867. With no big health benefits. But we're going to go ahead and unpause the game here. Um, once the month ticks over. We should get a bit more gold. So actually let's speed the game up a bit. There we go. And a notable guest has arrived. Uh, what's so notable about you? You're up. Prowess, wow. Uh, you're a brilliant strategist. Uh, you're an overseer, open terrain expert, and a rough terrain expert. I was about to build, but how much is it to recruit you to my court? 15 gold. I think I'm going to do that. That does feel worth it, actually. Um, so, welcome to my court. Today. In fact, let's go ahead and check on our champions. Oh, there we go. Our champions are looking much nicer now. Let's go ahead and look at our culture, because we are the head of the Irish culture. What innovation are we currently aiming for here? We are being exposed to crop rotation, so maybe we should look at this. In 23 years, we would discover this, and it unlocks all tribal era economic buildings. Hmm, I think I will go for this. What about city planning, though? We can build village centers, we can build shrines, prayer halls. Uh, megaliths, trading outposts, public works. Let's see. So we go to Desmond. I'm going to want to build more buildings. Uh, we don't have anything we can build. We just don't have anything unlocked. So we go to the culture here. 
I don't think crop rotation, yeah, crop rotation isn't going to give us anything new. I think we need city planning. So let's go ahead and research city planning. It's going to take 65 years, which is a long time. Um, but it would be nice to build some extra stuff here. And then if we go ahead and look at our capital, that would be Trally here. I think over here we're going to build, let's see, is there anything? We should probably build a market first. We need 70 gold for that. Uh, we did just gain a new stewardship perk though. Domain limit plus two. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> so we didn't actually have to give away our lands, but we are. And I do have some unmarried sons. So two of my sons here are not betrothed. Let's see, can I... Uh... Alba here doesn't have any, he only has the one son and he doesn't have any children yet. Uh, what about the King of England here? Oh gosh, um, maybe I need to turn on censorship. I don't know what YouTube is going to do about that actually. Um, are you betrothed? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and arrange a marriage there. Let's see, is my son here? Uh, what about my oldest son? Maybe we could get an alliance with the king of england here let's go ahead and send that one actually i do like that and before i forget uh, let's go ahead into the settings uh, where are the graphics i need to turn on censoring um maybe it's in the game settings uh, show nudity let's turn that one off uh, i'm gonna have to blare that in post editing <laughs> whoops <laughs> okay so we should have a betrothal with england here let's unpause just to see if that one goes through now of course we could play both sides and maybe even get a betrothal to the dane law here or maybe the welsh hmm the danes are powerful he does have a daughter and she's 37 now what about his heir his heir has a granddaughter. Let's see. Maybe we can arrange a marriage here. Uh, my second son. What about this? Uh, oh, okay. Will not accept. He really did. Uh, minus 1,000. Ah, different faith. Of course, different faith. That's a problem there. What about the Welsh over here? Um, let's go ahead and look at his heir. His heir doesn't have any children yet. Um, so maybe nothing there. We could go maybe an alliance with West Francia. Um, but I kind of want to stay within within the British Isles for now. I don't want to expand too far. Um, yeah, Cornwall. There is no, nothing in Cornwall. Maybe Brittany. Um, but I'd rather go West Francia. Uh, Primary. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, nothing in West Francia. Uh, Brittany is also in a bit of trouble. Wow, a lot of kings are dying. What if we go down here? Um, uh, religion and faith is going to be a problem. Uh, just as before. Maybe East Francia. We could get something there. He has two sons though. So that's not going to work. What about down in Italy? Uh, the game is unpaused as well. So things are ticking on nice and slowly. He does have a daughter. She's 29 though. Maybe a bit old there. Um, I don't want a huge age gap. Age gap. What about his youngest daughter? Oh, She's already betrothed. Um, of course they all are so nothing there task finished okay so we now should have okay county control here so if we open up this let's go ahead and raise control in Ormond now and then that should be oh no then we also need to raise it in Ennis as well um, and then we should have a good control over here and we do have 70 gold now so we go over to Trally let's see let's go ahead and build a market so it costs 70 gold and then 190 prestige, but we get plus 500 supply limit as well as plus 0.4 tax per month. So I will go ahead and build this. That's very nice. That will help our air out, especially when we come to pass. And I am wondering, where should we get this alliance? Uh, maybe over in Bavaria? Let's see. If we bring up the, the faith here, yeah, all of these guys are Catholic, so we have a lot of choice um Wardic oh gosh okay uh, greetings high king chu chong gelt of ireland blessings upon you and your house it seems that there is no recourse for our dispute other than to settle it on the battlefield the northman army conquest of high chieftain of munster the whole duchy um 8800 soldiers oh gosh oh wow um king alfred would help us that's 
good. We have 2,800 soldiers. How many do they have? 4,000. So we're still just over 100, uh, 1,000 levies short. Um, the good thing is Alfred here isn't in war. So we are going to call him to our side. We need him to help us here. Do we not have any other alliances? Um, ah, Meath. Okay, because they're our vassals now. I guess that's that. Right, I really need to find an alliance here. I think it's better maybe we just sort by alliance power. Um, where are you? You're all the way down here. Uh, the thing, ah, Bavaria, of course. Ideally, we would want someone closer. At least close to the sea. Ah, what about Mercia? We already have an alliance with... Yeah, Mercia, they're not at war and they do have another 1,500 units. So maybe we can unite our family with the Mercians here. And we don't get any prestige, but that's fine. Uh, I will go ahead and send that one, actually. And then what I'm going to do as well is we need to raise our armies. Because the Northmen will be arriving soon. There we go. King Alfred has decided to join our war and help us here. And we now do have an alliance with Mercia, which is good. So we're going to go and ask our allies there to come and help us defend our land. Of course, we will not forget this this kind favor they're about to do us. Uh, the Northmen are very scary. And there we go. Of course, I should join you in this war. There we go. So where are the enemy going to land? You can see the Mercians there as well as the English. Uh, they should come and help us, but the Northerner Menace, so a new event here. A horde of disjointed pirates, landless freemen, desperate lesser children, and other assorted miscreants have joined Rold in his proposed assault against my holdings. Ah, so this is the Northman army here. Okay. Although the size of the force is formidable, they lack discipline or loyalty, with each scrounged mercenary focused exclusively on what they can get out of the war first and foremost. Unlike a conventional foe, it might be possible to simply deal directly with the invaders. Perhaps a bargain could be struck. Okay, so I did say that I like to play to my character and only one of these options does not give him stress. So we only have one option that I can pick here. Uh, we'll banish these invaders as we've always done. So you fight for Nords the old fashioned way. So we're not shying away from the sword here. If they dare raise their steel to us, then we will meet steel with steel and defend our homelands here. The English were not able to do that against uh, the Vikings here, but we can. Uh, the English are coming to help us though, so maybe we should uh, keep our opinions to ourselves <laughs> uh, once they arrive. But I don't see any Northmen here just yet. Our allies are sailing over to, uh, to unite with us, so we will be fighting together, which is good. Um, yeah, I really don't know where the Northmen are. Ah, there they go. They are sailing in from the north. Um, that's uh, very um, symbolic there. And a hybrid culture from the, the Norse Gale hybrid. Culture from the Gaelic and the Norse cultures. So we go to the culture view here. Uh, that's the house view. There we go. So we have Gaelic up here. Of course, we are Irish. Uh, the Gaelic have actually combined. So that's interesting. Uh, I forgot about that update, to be honest. Um, but let's go ahead and take our armies here. They're going to go and set up on the hill. That's a shame. Uh, but we will need to go and meet them in the field. We should still get a, a bonus there. And one of our prisoners died. Uh, we are under siege. They did split that army a tiny bit. It will be interesting to see if we can do this and our... Vassal there was able to be swayed. It says the chances are even. Now I do wonder, can we make it around and attack this small force behind them? Uh, that would be good if we could do this. Of course, if we can get take any advantage, uh, we need to take or take advantage of any advantage we can gain here. Um, Neighbouring ruler won a war. That's uh, more of the Vikings there. Um, but if we can creep round and just take off these guys, uh, they are deciding to unite now. There we go. It says uh, you will win decisively. Um, so I'm not sure what's happening here. Oh, okay, they split up. So we have managed to engage their smaller army by chance. Our allies also marching in. 
There we go. And now that second army is coming in a bit late to the battle. Uh, we go over here. Uh, we did manage... Oh, the uh, Duke of Mercia there did manage to capture a prisoner. So that's good for him. And we open this back up. Oh, we have a huge advantage there. And we are definitely going to beat them back here. And that's already the war one, actually. Wow. If we look at this, we did lose a champion, sadly. Um, so that sucks. Uh, his wife will not be uh, very happy with that. Um, but we can enforce our demands here. So he pays no gold to us, but he does spend 350 prestige. Okay. Um, loses the Viking exile. Okay. Uh, loses 500 gold, except we don't get any of that, which sucks. But we do gain 350 prestige. And we gain reprieve from Scandinavian adventurers. Somehow this character has won a measure of respite from the relentless Viking hordes. Will not be attacked by landless Scandinavian adventurers. Very nice. So let's go ahead and enforce our demands there. Greetings, High King to Kongeltov Island. May you live in harmony and contentment. I know when I am defeated, it seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. So be it. There we go. So we managed to defend our kingdom there. And it does say we have a few champions. Uh, we can't recruit a few more, but maybe we want to save our gold to do some buildings here. And we did gain a level of fame. Our glory is now widely known. So we are now illustrious. Uh, so we get plus five secular opinion as well as number of knights plus two. Very nice. So people now know that the Kingdom of Ireland is no easy target. So our neighbours, if they did have any forts, maybe they will go back on those forts of taking our lands. Um, but let's go ahead. Oh no, no, we got a new event. Masonic Dealings. The Guild of Stonemasons has established itself in the Eldom of Ormond. Having dedicated craftsmen in my personal service could help... Uh, having dedicated craftsmen in my personal service could help the region flourish. I don't know why that feels so weird to say. Um, I will strike a deal with the Chief Mason... Hmm. Oh, that's very expensive. I can't afford to spend 50 or 75 gold. Let's see. Our steward has a better chance. Dunnikin hasn't failed me in the past. He has got me a few good deals. So, Dunnikin, earn me their allegiance. Let's see if he has any chance here. And let's pause the game a second. I can now uh, designate a guardian to my son here. Let's see. Oh, you're very good at diplomacy and learning. Um, you're actually on the diplomacy focus now. So let's try and find you a good diplomat here. Uh, my champion here has 17 diplomacy and Irish. Uh, he also is a poet, a peasant leader, adequate bargainer. Yeah, let's give, uh, teach my son. Uh, raise him well. Hopefully he has a good impact on his upbringing. But let's see what Dunnikun can do here. So there we go, triggering the next part of the event. Negoti uh, negotiations did not go entirely as planned, my liege. Oh, Dunnikun, what have you done? My steward sounds apologetic. However, I do have an offer, even if the Mason's Guild refuses to speak to me further. Okay, oh wow, we can spend 75 gold and we get cooperative stonemasons. Building construction time, minus 25%, and building construction cost, minus 10% uh, for 20 years. Hmm. We really can't afford to pay 70 gold for right now, or 75 gold. Yeah, we would be severely bankrupt. Uh, the control, or we can just gain more control. I will speak to them. I will order them. Yes, indeed, we will. Um, we've got to be wise with the realm's money here. We don't want to go into bankruptcy. That can cause all kinds of of problems and events and negative debuffs um, but let's go ahead and speed up the time just a little bit here see if we can get something to trigger we have 3200 levies now uh, we are definitely growing into a fearsome force and it's really nice that we have these alliances now actually with England especially being a neighbor right next to us and then also, is it, um, ah, Mercia as well. There we go. We never got the Bavaria marriage. So we do actually have really strong ties with England and its vassals now. Uh, Gwyneth there has captured more land. 
So that's in interesting. Uh, England have a tiny little control there. Um, we gained low control. Oldham of Ennis gained uncooperative guilds for 10 years. Oh, wow. Plus 25% building construction time as well as construction cost for... Um, yeah, wow. Tw uh, prestige cost, uh, piety cost, gold cost plus 25%. Uh, that's not so good. Luckily, we're not building in Ennis right now. We're actually trying to raise the control here, though, I think. Uh, oh, no, we're raising the control down in Ormond first. Ah, okay. Uh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and speed up the time a little bit again. Uh, maybe we could even host a feast to celebrate. Ah, we're very poor, though. Yeah, I can't really afford to host um a feast right now that sucks how much does it cost to host a feast 100 gold yeah uh, instead of spending money on feasts we're gonna spend money on developing our capital instead so let's pop the game on four times speed here um look at our guy he just looks like a king as well i do love these automatic generated um, avatars here and trading post has been constructing in Desmond so if we go over here now you can see we get 2.4 gold every month and we do have a trading outpost now buffing our taxes um, up here we actually have 4.2 income per month uh, we could upgrade this that's very expensive I think what we should build next hmm, maybe we should get this some fort level defender advantage we also get some levies and some garrisons this also give levies. Uh, number of knights increases knight effectiveness. Uh, this gives control and prestige. Hmm. I think I want to build the palisades though. Um, just so we can increase the fort level here. And we have gained a new event. Uh, infiltrators. It has come to my attention that some local commoners are moving to Athlone. The capital of my friend High Chieftain Aid. Locals, newly settled or not, praising me can surely do no harm to his perception of me. Um, what is up with him? He, uh, oh, he's a leper. Okay. Uh, not looking too good nowadays, my friend. Hmm. Now we could spend 15 gold. It's not worth it. I think we're an honourable person. We've lived by the sword our entire lives. We're not going to spend gold to start scheming now. So it's it's not worth it. Those who wish to follow can follow me. And those who raise a sword against me will meet my sword head on. I think that's very fitting for our character. Now we do have some extra prestige. Maybe we could raise another men at arms. I don't think it's needed right now though. Um, so let's not worry about that too much. Um, oh, let's pause the game. We are being raided up here. Wow, Danelaw have come to raid us. Now, we will not stand for this at all. So let's go ahead and raise our banners here. Um, we're definitely not going to deal or pull up with that. We are going to attack them. Uh, it says the chances are even, but we must defend our homelands here. Uh, we can't just have any old Vikings raiding us. Or maybe we should have waited for reinforcements. Um, it's not looking so good here. Oh, maybe we're losing us. Are we being raided again? Oh, wow. We're being raided in the south. By the Welsh? Oh, ho, ho. we're not going to forget that one. Um, we might actually lose this battle up here. That's uh, going to be deadly. Uh, level of Splendor increased. So our dynasty is now known far and wide. If we go up here, our dynasty is now noteworthy. So children are born with more prestige. Uh, people marrying into our family also get more prestige. And we get plus 20 long reign opinion. Uh, doing very well there. Oh, and our champion got his head ripped off. Oof. Yeah, uh, maybe we shouldn't have gone to fight these Vikings here. But what was I supposed to do? A king who doesn't try to defend his people is no king at all. And we do meet sword with sword. We go ahead and look at this now. Uh, we wounded one of the champions. Two of our champions got wounded. One was killed. Another one was wounded. Oof, and one of their champions there also became a berserker. Uh, that's not so good for us. Uh, of course, now the Danelaw are friendly with the English, we will be their raiding targets. And I'm not happy about Wales there. Uh, I might just have to launch an attack over in Wales uh, to get vengeance there. Take something back. Uh, we're being raided again, which is a bit tedious. The good thing is, at least they're not down here. Maybe I should... 
Well, these lands aren't mine anyway. Hmm, but a king has to help defend his vassals. Otherwise, who am I? Ah, it's a tough one. But maybe we should go back. We do have the numbers. Maybe we can combine this army. Uh, yeah, it's just not going to happen, sadly. Um, let's go and sit in the hills here. Maybe that can help deter them. Um, someone can marry. My grandson can now marry. So the heir of my heir. Now, this is an important marriage here. Because one day he will be the future king of Ireland after my own son. So I want to marry him with someone strong. Uh, but preferably someone also Irish. Do we stick with the Irish here? Hmm, she's too old. She's fairly five. He's only 16. They wouldn't have many children together. Hmm. Let's see. I don't think... Because we're, we're sorting by alliance power here. And there is no one. Unless... Do we have some filters on? If we go by alliance power now. Yeah, there's not many alliances here. So maybe what we want to do is actually uh, filter by traits here. And then if we sort by age. Let's see. Um, is this filtered? It is. So we have 15 year old Irish girl here. She is hail. So we would get plus two prowess as well as a small health boost and attraction opinion if our children are also hail. And of course she is Irish. So I think I might actually go with that. He loses some prestige, but maybe it's uh, it's for the benefit here. We already have the Alliance of the English and no other alliance is really there. So let's go ahead and send that proposal off. Um, hopefully those two can become friendly with one another and provide plenty of future heirs. There we go. So she has accepted the marriage proposal there. Um, these guys are still raiding us. And we have gained another stewardship perk. So let's go ahead and get architect. Uh, we would gain plus two stewardship and then minus 15% building construction time. Minus 10% construction cost. And then same for the holding. Uh, same buff there. So let's go ahead and unlock the architect perk. Very nice. And I think I'm also going to change maybe monthly income plus 10%. We're going to swap to wealth focus here. Uh, just so we can get some extra gold per turn. Um, so we can build up our capital. Now, is it really? It says the chances are even. Is it our commander? No, our commander is quite good. I do wonder. Um, he does seem to be leaving us alone now. Hmm, and our spy master has discovered a secret. So let's go ahead and look at this one. Um, our courtier here is a non-believer. Oh, it's my heir's wife. Uh, do I want to cause some instability there? Uh, she is a Catholic, though. So we knew that when we married her, I guess. You know, insulin Catholics. There's going to be some disagreements there. Uh, we knew that when we arranged the marriage. So we can't really hold that against them. And our betrothed, our grandson can now marry. So let's go ahead and send off that marriage proposal. Of course, marrying a lowborn... Uh, but it should be okay. It's for the benefit of the realm here. Um, we have swayed our vassal here. So he's at 100 opinion. Let's go ahead and sway our bishop some more. Hopefully we can get him to like us. I think he's still holding a grudge there. And we are being raided. Where to now? Okay, up here. Um, if I am to fight them... I think they're actually retreating though, right? Yeah, they're leaving our lands now. And oh gosh... Just as I was speaking about our bishop holding a grudge, we gain another event here, Scandalous Priest. The insular world was shocked to learn that my archbishop has been embezzling the money that his followers gave for charity, repurposing it for his personal use. Ah, uh, he's done this once before, he hasn't learned. Whilst the scandals amongst the clergy are nothing new, it is disquieting for one to occur so close to home. Uh, I'm going to have to condemn him again. It's just, it's not right. It's really not right. Uh, so I will condemn him for his transgressions. He's going to hate me a bit more now. Um, but we are currently swaying him. So hopefully that's fine. 
Uh, the raiders are leaving now, so let's go ahead and disband our armies. Uh, there we go, our gold should go up. Uh, breaking fast with a friend. I am on my way to the abbey one morning when I run into High Queen Gormleif. Uh, she is my wife, of course, who is carrying a small bag. Glancing around, she cons uh, conspiras... What the hell? She conspiratorily <laughs> opens it, revealing all sorts of foods and drink. It is such a beautiful day. Come join me outside for a morning picnic, she says. As I start to protesting that I'm on my way to the abbey, Gormleif interrupts me. God will still be there later, but these saffron cakes won't. Oh, she does make a good point, you know. Um, God is more important than breakfast, or the true sin would be letting this opportunity pass. Um... Let's see, my character has condemned our bishop, so I do think my character is a man of God. Uh, so God is more important than breakfast here. Our wife would lose some opinion of us, but we would gain some piety. I think this does fit very well with my character, and uh, he seems to really be struggling with this choice here, actually. Uh, but yeah, God is more important than breakfast. I will have to pick this. And we do gain a level of devotion there, so if we go over here, we are definitely a faithful servant there and joshua comes of age i am proud to see my son no longer as a child but as an adult for the longest time i was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach joshua the intricacies of warfare i was naive he has shown little understanding of the subject but at least he knows which way to hold a sword and might even be able to tell a footman from a champion so if we go ahead and look at joshua here oh great he's already a drunk ah being a second born son is so hard. <laughs> um, yeah, he's got seven martial. He's got 11 prowess, which is actually okay. Um, but yeah, just he's a misguided warrior. He is a holy warrior, but he's also a drunkard. Um, so a mixed bag of things there. But they grow up so fast. And then just like that, that's actually all I have time for today. And the King of Mercia, or the Duke of Mercia, they're dying. So that alliance has also expired. Um, who is the leader now? Oh no, we just don't have the alliance at all. So that was short-lived. But yeah, sadly, that's all I have time for today. I will be back with another episode. Plenty of things happened this episode. We fought back the Northmen. We defended the island. We got a new alliance with England. Our son became a drunkard. And we turned down some cakes to stay true to God. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Thank you for watching and I will see you then.